Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt. For those of you guys who are new to this channel, and uh, in this video, we are going to talk about drumsticks. Uh, not your drums, chicken drumsticks, huh? Your drums. Okay. Mm. Okay, moving on. Uh, in this video, we are going to talk about drumsticks, and it's specifically for beginners out there, and for those of you guys who want to start playing drums and have no idea on how to buy a drumsticks okay so after watching this video probably you will have a rough idea on how to choose a drumstick which is suitable for you okay cool okay in this video we're gonna in this video we're gonna talk about uh, parts of the drumsticks the thickness and blah 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 then i'll probably give you uh, and i'll probably give you a few suggestions on which drumsticks to buy lah, for beginners okay and shall we let's go okay first things first we are going to talk about parts of the drum stick okay i have a stick with me so i'm gonna hold it up like this so your first part of the drum stick will be your tip then from the tip right until this part will be your neck of the drum stick or they call it taper and then from the taper or the neck right until the end will be your shaft of the stick and this will be your butt of the stick okay first things first we are gonna talk about the tip of the drum stick okay there will be a lot of different types of drum tip on your drum stick and uh, for example, your common one will be um, your teardrop, which is something like this. No, okay. Which is something like this, huh? You guys can see, okay. And uh, your oval tip, your barrel tip, and then your round tip. Okay, so obviously each and every drum tip will produce uh, a different sound, lah. Uh, when you play it on your cymbal uh, for example your round tip when you play it on the cymbal it will be much more defined and uh, brighter lah. okay uh, you guys can experiment around and buy a different pair of drum stick with different tips and then you guys can try it on your cymbal uh, but you know for the first time don't buy a lot lah. Uh, I'm suggesting you buy one first and then after that uh, play on the current drumstick that you have then after if you guys want to experiment then you guys buy and then you guys buy different types of drumsticks with different tip then you try it on your cymbal then see what, which one you like lah okay uh, but the common one will be the teardrop lah which is this one okay okay moving on to the neck or the taper of the drumstick okay uh, there will be different uh, sizes or different types of neck or taper on the drumstick okay there will be like a short medium and long taper and every taper or neck has its own purpose uh, for the short one it will offer less rebound more power and increase in durability I'm looking at the notes uh. okay, it's here. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then for the medium one, the medium one will offer balance stick. The medium one will offer balance stick. I will put in the images of the short taper, the long taper, uh, the medium taper, and the long. Okay, 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 and the long one. The long one offers uh, more rebound and faster response, lah. Okay, so yeah, that is the neck. And, or the neck or the tip, uh, neck or taper they call it, huh? Okay, so you guys know the three types already. So if you guys go and go to the drum shop and then check out different types of drumstick, then you guys will take note of the neck also, huh? So long, but you guys can spot the different like a short taper, long taper, or or medium taper. Then you guys already know that it's it has its own purpose already, now Okay. Okay, let's move on. Okay, the next thing that we're going to talk about is the shaft of the drumstick and the butt. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, um, basically we are gonna talk about the, the type of uh, material that is used on a drumstick and then um, yeah and the thickness of the drumstick lah. So uh, we're gonna talk about the numbers uh, on the drumstick later on. It'll be a different segment lah. Okay, but like uh, if you guys notice that if you take your common common lah, your common drumstick if you put it on a 16 inch to floor tom it will fit nicely in the 16 inch floor tom so technically your com your common drumstick will be 16 inch lah uh, unless if you're talking about um, a different different types of drumstick um, which is slightly longer for for reach sake okay so yeah uh, let's move on to the different types of material that is used on a drumstick. Uh, actually, yeah, we're not talking about the shaft, lah. Basically, we're just talking about the material of the drumstick, lah. Okay, and the thickness. Se next segment. Next segment. Go go. Okay, we're gonna talk about uh, the material that is used on a drumstick. Uh, obviously, if you guys see the drumsticks. The common drumsticks you guys would see will be made out of wood lah, right? Uh, but you guys don't know that there is a few drumsticks which is made out of uh, carbon fiber. If you guys, I think uh, most seasoned drummers would already know that there's the carbon fiber drumstick lah. But for those of you guys who don't know, there is a carbon fiber drumstick, yes. And there is an aluminum uh, with plastic drumsticks as well and then there is a solid there's a solid drumstick which is made up uh, which is made out of uh, aluminum and is damn heavy okay uh, I'll talk about that later uh, but okay uh, the common material that is being used on a drumstick will be wood obviously and then um, your there'll be a carbon fiber drumstick and then aluminum plus plastic lah. okay uh, for wood it will be the common three woods that they use for a drum stick will be drum roll. It's oh, it's a good thing for it's a drum channel drum roll. Yeah, drum roll. Okay, yeah, uh, your hickory hickory stick, your maple wood, and oak. Okay, for each and every. Um, different types of wood has its own purpose as well. Okay, I will look this way a lot more often uh, because uh, my notes are here. Okay, <laughs> okay. So uh, for hickory, uh, hickory wood will be a commonly used wood on drum six because it is uh, balanced. <laughs> yeah, is the typical uh, it. Uh, the best wood that you use on a drum stick because it is quite um, quite balanced. Uh, make sure of then uh, a balance of density, weight, and strength lah on a drum stick. Uh, the best wood to be used on a drum stick lah, which is uh, hickory wood. Okay, and then um, maple will be your lightest drum stick. Uh, it says here is used for low volumes and fast playing and then for oak oak is quite heavy uh, it is meant for heavy heaters and it is very durable yeah durable sticks and ideal for heavy heaters oak the last book will be oak okay and like i said okay the other two um, material that is being used on a drum stick will be just carbon fiber and aluminum lah. Um, there is a um, drumstick drumstick company called Ahead which produce carbon fiber I guess carbon fiber drumstick or aluminum sorry if I got uh, if, if I get this wrong uh, but like it's either one of it uh, I think it's carbon fiber uh. yeah okay let's move on to the next segment which we will talk about the numbers on the drumstick this one 
Okay, uh, we are going to talk about the numbers and alphabet on the drumstick. Uh, I'm going to talk about the alphabet first. Um, they used to say or uh, what what they say in my research. Uh, uh, the num the alphabet actually have a segregation on different purposes on the drumstick. Uh, but I won't go uh, deep into that uh, and confuse you further. I also will get confused. Okay, uh, but. Uh, in the modern context, they just say that it's just part of the model of the drumstick lah. We just take it as part of the model of the drumstick. Okay, and the numbers for your drumstick, um, the smaller your number is, the thicker the drumstick is gonna be. Okay, and for your standard drumstick, uh, they call it the standard drumstick will be your 5 A's, which I have in my hand, which is from Vicverf. Okay, and um, the ideal drumsticks for beginners uh, who wants to go out and buy a drumstick and have no idea on what to choose will be 7A because it is um, very light because uh, I, I don't think you guys would want to use a very heavy drumstick on your first lesson or on your, your first few journey to drumming because it will your hands will not get used to it lah eh? then after playing a while then you guys might want to change the drumstick to the standard drumstick lah which is the 5A or whichever drumstick that you want to use uh, according to the stylistics lah but like yeah the ideal one would be 7A and you can you guys can buy this the, the standard size also like 5A will be good also uh, so uh, but 7A will be slightly lighter than 5A lah which is Ideal, okay. And uh, I will still mention the common types of uh, drumsticks, uh, common types of drumsticks that you guys will come across, um, which is your 5A or 7A. Your 5B uh, will be slightly thicker than your 5A, and your 2B will be very thick. So, 2B uh, will be the thickest lah. Um, 5B and 2B will be used by those guys who plays rock or heavy hitters and um, yeah and for durability sake lah if you guys uh, if those guys wants their stick to last a bit longer and probably like a different tone that they, they want lah but yeah so that is your common uh, drumsticks that you guys will come across okay Thank you very much for watching. That's it for me today. That's it for me today, guys. Um, I hope you guys got something out of this. And um, yeah, if you guys wanna go and buy a drum seat, you guys already know what to buy. Or for those of you guys who wants to buy a drum seat for somebody else who is starting drumming or learn, learning drums, now you guys know what to buy. Ah, eh? seven A or five A. Okay. Okay, thank you very much guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Ciao brothers and sisters.